Oh no, here we are at closing. All the paperwork's been signed, ready to hand over the keys to the buyer and the money's not there. Her down payment money supposed to come from the credit union is not there. A couple hours later, still not there. Later that night, it's around five o'clock, money's still not there. Next morning, still not there. I help people achieve the highest quality of life through buying and selling real estate. So if you're looking to buy a home or sell a home, contact me, my team and I would be glad to help. Let me back up and tell you the whole complete story here. Judith contacted me. She was the administratrix. Her friend had passed away a few months ago and she was now in charge of her estate and needing to sell her property. And the property was in a 55 and over community called Tavistock in Mays Landing. So Judith had found me online, realized that I was an expert in 55 and over communities, contacted me, we met, we, we listed the property and had great success. We had multiple offers very quickly over asking price. And fortunately I had my buyer, uh, Sally was the one who, whose offer was selected. So we, we picked Sally's offer, great buyer. She's putting a large down payment down on the home and everything went smoothly. I mean, we had, um, the mortgage was already, everything was, was perfect. We didn't even have to do an appraisal because she put so much down payment. Inspections were great. The house was in beautiful condition, very, very well kept. So everything was great, negotiated, just a, a home warranty to help her with some of the minor repairs that were there at the house. And so then we get to the closing table and everything was perfect. The seller had come in a few days ago, signed all their paperwork already, the walked through that morning, went great. So here we are on a Wednesday and the buyer's deposit money is not there. Um, check with the credit union, a couple hours later, still not there, five o'clock at night, still not there. Next morning, that deposit money is still not there. And so now I'm talking to the buyers, say, Sally, what's going on? Do you have any updates? And we found out what the problem was. So as we were at the walkthrough, her credit union had called her to verify uh, that it was really her because she had her credit union was in Massachusetts. So her credit union wasn't local. She couldn't just go there and get a, get a check. She had to do everything online. And so they wanted to verify her identity. Well, the problem is when they verified her identity, she answered one of the questions wrong. I think she was out of the state and forgot about it and had a, a quick trip out of the state. They asked her a question and she answered it incorrectly. So what they did is they froze her account. They put a freeze on her account for five business days. So she no longer had access to the funds. She couldn't even log into her account online to be able to see what was going on to make another transaction. So she was totally uh, locked out by her credit union. And at this point, you know, she's ready to move in the house, has movers ready, uh, vendors ready to get the services and the cable and everything ready for the house. She's got packages coming, delivering some new furniture. And she is so upset at this point, you know, ready to close and the money's not there. She's tried to contact everyone she can at the credit union. Again, be because it's far distance away, it's not like she could just drive there and talk to someone. So she was totally uh, just out of, out of solutions didn't know what to do at this point, totally frustrated and just basically gave up and said, you know what, there's nothing more I can do about it. And so here's where I, I came in and helped her out at this point. So I said, there's gotta be someone at the credit union I can talk to, a real person that has some compassion, that has some, some sympathy, some empathy that can, can help in this situation. So I went on their website, she told me the name of the credit union, went on the website, and I got the name of the chairman of the board. His name actually happens to be Matt too. So I think that helped because you know, my name is Matt, his name's Matt. There's a little brotherhood there. So anyway, I Googled him, found out where he worked. I went on LinkedIn, found his profile, found out what company he worked for. Google that company, found out the phone number, called there, left them a voicemail message. I left him a very uh, urgent message saying how important this was and left the client's name and phone number for for him to try to help and intervene in this situation because there was a mistake made and she just wants to buy a house and get her money. So the next day, uh, I got a call late that day around five o'clock. So now we're on Thursday. She still had, you know, still had nothing, no money, no, no sign of anything from them. We were expecting that it won't be until maybe next Thursday, a full week later before they would send the funds. But she got a call from her credit union. They got my message and the chairman had called someone and they said that we heard from your realtor and everything's fine, we're sending the money now. So that Thursday night, they sent the money. Uh, fortunately, our title company we work with is wonderful. 
They were able to hold all the documents. We didn't have to have her sign anything else. Didn't have to have the seller sign anything else. And we were able to get her moved into the house uh, that next morning on Friday. So that's what I do. I help people achieve the highest quality of life through buying and selling real estate. And I will go the extra mile to do whatever it takes to uh, whatever is best for our clients. In this case, it was making a phone call, taking a little effort to try to communicate the urgency and, and to get her, get her help. So, um, you know, if you're in a situation where you need to buy or sell a home, you need a real estate agent to help you, please contact us and our team and I would be glad to help. And we will go the extra mile for you. Make sure you have a great experience and make sure that you have a successful uh, transaction. So if you'd like more information, definitely want to check out, if you're interested in the May Landing area, my tour here of Woods Landing. And Woods Landing is a beautiful 55 and over community. Right now, there's some really nice resale homes available in the community. So check out my video here, and we'll see you on the next video.